Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, good afternoon, everyone from the UK. This is Guru Tampania. Good morning in the US and good evening in Malaysia. Okay. So, this time, we have Professor Jack Oatman for FMA discussion episode 228. And he will share his join in Silat and also one of the weapon that has become very popular these days um initially um brought to popularity by the fma group but let's basically trace its beginnings and its its origins through silat okay so good evening prof good afternoon Guru Brian. Good evening. thank you so much good afternoon good evening oh, good night okay <laughs> no it okay. will be the place okay so if you're watching this podcast, uh, if you're watching this interview, please say hello and uh, please indicate where you're watching from. And if you got any question for for um, Prof. Jack, please uh, put in the comment section. So, uh, don't forget just, Guru Amir. He's over there in the side. Don't forget Guru Amir. <laughs> <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> oh, there you yep. <laughs> Hi, Guru Amir. Okay. Uh, and also, guys... Um, just before we kick off with this interview, um, Guru Dean's uh, interview with Katie, we're going to have a different platform. So we're going to go straight to YouTube this time. So we're going to try it, going straight to YouTube. So instead of um, the live interview going to uh, Dean's wall in Facebook, he's going to project it to YouTube. So hopefully you join us still, okay, when we try to like um, try to uh, direct it to YouTube. Okay, so there you go. Uh, good man. Uh, well, good uh, morning, good evening, good afternoon. That's like uh, Guru Tom says, and this is episode okay. 228. And uh, we're going to go ahead and go ahead and start it up. And uh, before we start up, let's go say hello to some of our guests that are joining us Guru Jerry Jacobs, uh, John Escaduro, Guru Alvin Obano, and Brett Reese. Guru Mambaki, Dana Ferranda is joining us as well. Um, if I skipped over anybody's title or rank, I didn't mean to do so. I don't know uh, what your rank or title is, so I didn't call you on there. Um, Jeremy Godu, always a pleasure to join us. So uh, let's get this started. So um, my first question is to uh, Professor uh, Jack here is uh, I wanted to kind of elaborate on the history on how the system of Haramara Barantai Malaysia uh, started. So if you can elaborate on that, Professor Jack, I appreciate it. All right, it's Harimau Brantai. It's not Karamit yet, yeah? Yeah. Harimau Brantai. Yeah. Is it history of Harimau Brantai or is it Karamit? Yeah. The, the history of the Harimau Brantai first okay. and then we go into the Karamit. I just want people to know your background. Okay, uh, Harimau Brantai. Harimau is tiger, Brantai means chain. Tiger being chained down by its faith. All right, a tiger being chained down by its discipline and beliefs. All right, okay. Okay, Silat Harimau Branta is the style of my family, okay? The man at one time uh, <coughs> became really famous in Nusantara. This old man, uh, his name was Haji Asraf. Haji is somebody who did Hajj. Asraf is the name, right? He and his band of warriors uh, fought the Dutch. I hope there's no 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 Dutch guys over there, or we are just trying to be friendly. <laughs> <laughs> from Amsterdam, <laughs> we well, the Dutch came to, came to Java. Yeah, we are from Java. Came to Java today, Indonesia. Yeah, Java, and yeah, they want to take the take land the land away from us. So we fought them, and there's so many band of warriors that fought the, uh, the Dutch the Dutch uh, colonial forces, and one of them was my family. One way. Okay, so. Haji Asraf uh, is a warrior. He's also a imam. Imam is the head of the mosque for the family, for the family or the village. So the Brantai clan fought the Dutch in a very unique way. It's not like many of our brothers. Okay, most of them fight in open battlefield and fought the Dutch. You know bravely and charge and fight, you know, and uh, I'm sure uh, Guru Tom can talk more about that with Spanish 
That's a Spanish end. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> okay. right. It's almost like the same time. Yeah. So the uh, the way the Harimo Brantai clan did it was we didn't do the warfare. We didn't do the jungle warfare. What we did was to take one life and save thousands on both sides. Okay? Don't forget, my old man was a pious man. He's, a, he's, a, he's number one in the mosque. He wouldn't go there killing people and fight for fun. He's not thirsty for blood. So the clan, Glove clan, they said we, we consist of like, uh, you know, a team is three people, five, seven, uh, five, seven, you know, 11. So it's always odd. Okay, you can ask me why later. Why is it odd, Prof? Is it bad? Is it good luck in Malay or Japanese? <laughs> you can ask me that. So, okay. What we did was we would take out the number one. Mm -hmm. Minimum casualties. Meaning that Minimum casualty, yeah. everything has been prepared and planned. <laughs> Enter the Dutch camp, we take out the number one. As we go in, everything has been planned. So, you know, avoid taking lives. Meaning we knock the guy out, we cut his tongue or whatever along, along the way, yeah? As minimal mm -hmm. as possible. And we take out the number one in his room. Take out his face, we have to take his life. All right? And we will take everything in his room. Mm -hmm. Paper, everything. All right? And burn it when you get back. So you will have, gentlemen, a platoon of Dutch army without a general, a, a number one, you know, without the commander. Yeah? Yes. And we leave the camp with minimum casualty. So the Harimo Brantai clan, so, you know, when you take out the number one, then you have what? 2,000 Dutch Dutch uh, army in Java doing nothing. Mm -hmm. Set up the snake. Try to set up the local girls and produce beautiful babies in Indonesia. <laughs> 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 so that's how we did it. That's how the Harimo Brantai did it, how plan did it. So we became kind of like famous. The owner yeah. got really famous and they call him the tiger. But he is, he was a pious man and he was the, the, the head of the mosque. You don't call somebody with that religious standard an animal. Mm -hmm. It's a tiger. An yeah, that's true. So yeah, the family yeah. called him a tiger which we chained by his faith, his belief, his religion. Yeah. By what he believes, you know. So that's why we were called the Harimau Garantai clan. So this can keep repeating. So in its six months. For the Dutch to send one more commander from India, the six months to reach Java. So can you imagine six months of no commander? So what do you expect? <laughs> oh, I can imagine that. <laughs> the army would just go, well, you know, make love, state of war, you know. So they would go out there and chat the Javanese girls and, you know, get them pregnant and have beautiful babies and get married and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so that's what happens. So like I said, we take one life, we save both sides. Of course, there are other brothers out there that fought the Dutch differently in different regions. So we did it in Central Java, and that's how we did it. And it keeps repeating. Uh -huh. so you can see that uh, we have another uh, commander just arrived six months later and say, okay, let's get this thing going, you know. Okay, then we send another one. We take him out. So eventually it becomes, you know, like a... Nobody wants to go there anymore. And get killed. Yeah, little, little shit. You know, you send one, he's gone. He sent another one, he's gone. So uh, they sent another one, and uh, and I remember the time, uh, according to the old stories of my my my, my uncles and aunties. And so he decided to the command decided not to stay uh, on land. So he lived and to stay, you know, in the ship. But he still command his his, his army. Uh, you know, we send in a woman, Guru Guru Tom. We send in a woman. Oh, did you? Okay. Wow. <laughs> Wait, I mean, you operate like like a like like a, a, a clan of uh, special forces, and you basically <laughs> because like I said, the concept here is 
Yeah. Oh, man, yeah. we all believe, you know, we all believe in, you know, yeah. anyway, yeah. in Islam, yeah. killing, yeah. killing, yeah. killing yeah. a human being is a big yeah. sin. So going to war yeah. is something else. Yeah, but but we, our clan has decided that, no, 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 let's, let's, let's fight smart, take out the number one. Yeah. Once you take out the number one, then the army will be, will be partying. There's nothing to do. <laughs> See how cool it is. It is, so, it is so cool. So they send uh, the one commander that arrives now, now six months later, and he decided to stay on board in his ship. He refused to go on land. We send in a woman. We send in a woman and take him out. It's very strategic. And another one. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. That's right. He keep moving. He keep moving. He is there. We couldn't get. We send in a chef. A chef and take him out so 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 the dutch kind of like respect this clan as enemy but uh, as and hate this class and also respect so they called my old man the old man that is a tiger man he's a tiger but we you know tiger is an animal so so then the clan called him a tiger being chained down by his face so that's how the harimau brantai clan started in mid java I right? see. Uh, see, see how okay. that is different. We are so unique. So, and then uh, the Harimau Brantai clan, clan came from two, uh, if you like, uh, two groups of uh, people in the in the Jav Malay Javanese society. Okay, we were the noblemen, noblemen okay. family. Yeah, noblemen. And because Haji Asraf is a pious man. We also come from that, so we come from two. So noblemen, five men. So obviously, noblemen like us, we don't use machetes. Yeah, we don't. Okay. Machetes are you know uh, normal people. Okay, we don't use okay. spear because we are the guy behind that. We don't really use spear. Spear are militaries, you know. So again, so there are certain things that make Harimau Brantai clan very unique. So. There you are. That's the history of Harimau Brantai. Why it's called Harimau Brantai. The start of Silat. Wow. What is Silat? What, what, I mean, Harimau Brantai is a, 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 if you want, if like a, a, a title given to the, to the clan. But what Silat? So the answer would be Japanese Silat. What Japanese Silat? I don't know. Is this Japanese Silat? And then sometimes <laughs> people ask me, how come Prof Jack, the way he teach and his clan don't look like the other innovation guys doing silat where they have a lot of head movements and you know the uh, uh, jab is go wow kill done go home oh sorry bad word destroy <laughs> then go home. <laughs> <laughs> that's the bad word. Yeah, yeah. so that's what we do so what we do is again it is from the concept of uh you know when you are masterful in what you do gentlemen you can stop you don't have to kill you can take it can be halfway yeah when you are in control okay you control yourself and the art that you're fighting the fighting system that you train and the way you go to war you can actually stop instead of killing killing is unless it is necessary yeah so then yeah. is the harim rantai clan so professor okay. uh, I want. Yeah. I have another another question for you. So, yeah, can yeah. you tell me how your your auntie actually influenced your martial arts journey, or like oh, okay, your instructor? Okay, or can we okay, can okay. we delve into okay. that a little bit? Very good. So I was trained by a lady. <laughs> I was trained by a lady. God, you know, uh, it was 1986. 1986. Okay, but I was in England in 1980. <laughs> wow. I was already teaching Silat in England in 1980. Okay, I was uh, I was the uh, that time we call it international Silat champ because there's no world championship yeah. yet. So I was those guys, the early guys, to go out there and do uh, Silat sparring in Silat competitions where I don't even know the rules. How about that, guys? <laughs> a long time ago. Mm -hmm. So I was a world Silat champion, and at the same time I was learning other Silat, and I was allowed to teach one style of Silat called Silat Gayum. Harimau. So I bought mm -hmm. Silat Gayung Harimau to UK, and that's what I taught uh, Guru Glenn Lobo, uh, Guru Tom, Silat Gayung Harimau. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, when I graduated, I got back to Malaysia. At the same time, I started teaching in in UK, and we call it the uh, British Silat Association. And then I graduated okay. to leave, and I come back. Okay. When I came back, then I was introduced. Uh, my mother says, hey, I think you are ready. I said, what? 
you take that Chris. Go and take your dad's Chris. Okay. So I, I took my dad's Chris, you know, nicely wrapped in a in a in a in a in a in a bottle. All right, and say, what? So take this, go south, go meet your auntie. I just run I say, okay, you know, I normally do that. She's a great lady, she cook good food, and <laughs> you know, I'm on holiday, so summer holiday. All right. So I took the Chris, jump on the bus, boom, south. Met her and say, uh, auntie, so my auntie is her name is Haja Ramitan Samyo. Uh, the mom said, uh, take that Chris and pass it to you. And she said, she looked at me and said, okay, so you are ready, John. I said, okay, what, 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 what? <laughs> ready? Uh, okay, uh, so you're ready, right? I said, what, you know. This auntie that cooks good meals for me during festivals <laughs> asked me, am I ready for what? To cook? <laughs> oh, I don't to cook. <laughs> and she said, so you're ready to come here to fight me, right? So what are you talking about? Guys, I was 24, yeah, world champion, Silat, uh, ish, and I was an international Muay Thai champion. And, and I, am the, I am the founder of the British Silat Organization. This old lady yeah. asked me, are you here to fight me? Can you imagine? <laughs> Are you gonna come fight me, child? I say, oh, oh, hang on, auntie. No, mom said, pass you the dad's grace. You know what that means? You pass me the grace means you are ready. Say, oh shit! Oh, okay, <laughs> that's what it means. <laughs> I was yeah, like, you ready to get down? <laughs> so he said, why do you go outside and wait me behind the house? Okay, behind the house, not be a Malay, old, old village house, we have seats made of uh, coconut, coconut trunk, right? Long, so, so I was sitting there. Behind me, behind me, there is a banana, there was a banana tree, guys. The species is called pisang tando. Pisang is banana, tando is horns. Can you imagine one banana is this long? I'm sure you've seen this before in Philippines, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's this long. I mean, like, whoa, ah, oh, this long, one foot. Yeah. Can you imagine the size of the trunk to hold a bunch? I was sitting there. Yeah, right yeah, there. I, have, I have seen that. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I was like, ten, ten minutes maybe, and she came out from the back door, all dressed full attire, full silla attire. I was going like. Oh my God! Uh, <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, come on, fight me! I said, um, um, uh, no, I'm not gonna fight you. Yeah, I have to, uh, the, you know, young man ego, world champ, blah blah. Yeah, you know. yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. She said, move. I said, okay, I move. So she walked to that tree, the banana trunk, right? Okay, and she was 50, 55 at the time, I think. So sorry, oh. And let's say she is kind of se semi fit, yeah, semi fit, yeah, half fit, if you like it. Yeah. I think she kicked and punched the banana trunk this this big, say it is like two feet diameter, maybe two and a half feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Then let's say, let's say 15 seconds or maybe 20 seconds. She's not that fit, she's old, 55. She punched and kicked it, right? And then she stepped back and the tree fell like this. And I was like, oh, oh, oh. Whoa, the tree is this, you know, the blood I said, whoa. I look at her and show her up. And there's two crumbies. One the left hand, one on the right hand, and one between the toe. Really? Wow. Yeah, I was like, Auntie, I didn't know. So she said to me, Are you going to fight me or are you going to learn from me? <laughs> I'm going to learn from you. <laughs> so that is how. Harimau Brand was passed wow. over in, in 1986 to, nine, to 1990. All right, so I was already a big guy. I'm already a British illustration. I already trained under many teachers. So the explanation is on. Mom, mom told me that though my, 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 before my dad passed away, he said, send Jack to train under as many teachers as possible. That's when good. He's ready, yeah. And his head is on his shoulder. Send it to the Harimau oh, okay. That's how it started. Uh, now, I love Harimo Brantai clan. I love what I learned. I love it. But also love all my teachers of other styles. You see that Guru Tom, how my family put it. <laughs> so 
love them. I love them all. And, you know, and I appreciate them all. So, yeah. let me tell you, if I have got Barantai when I was like 17, damn, I'll be so cocky. I'll be very, very cocky because Barantai has, uh, in the Barantai clan, there are many weapons which is unorthodox to the other steel arts mm -hmm. And trained by the woman, which is a woman weapon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why we, Karambit is like, eh, Karambit is a women weapon to us, to me, like, <laughs> we're like, yeah, okay, you know, everybody should come here and say, yeah, okay, you know. I wanna, so I wanna, that, also, that, that's how it happened. So, okay. between, All right. how did it happen? So, the, when the Dutch start paying bounty hunters, all right, to, 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 to hunt down the Hanimo Brantai clan, we uprooted and left with Java and migrated to Johor, the southern most so, southern part of, of Malaysia. So the clan uh, moved. Okay. Okay. All right. And it is kept within the family for a couple hundred years, actually. Yes. Because it has, you know, we don't want, when we don't open our mouth and say, oh, we are here in Johor, then bounty hunters will arrive to fight us. Sent by, paid by the Dutch. Mm. This is the history. Yeah, so yeah. when I got it, you know, my auntie said, Jack, you now it's in your hands. It's up to you whether you want it. Said, yeah, I'll take it around the world. I will teach everyone, you know. So uh, I'm going I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, to yeah, elaborate, yeah. Professor, on uh, I know a lot of people, the, you said he did other martial arts, but a lot of people know you for sea lot, yeah. which is memory. But you do Muay Thai, you do kickboxing, yeah, yeah. a lot of cool stuff. Um, also, okay. too, I want to kind of elaborate. If, if you care to share, it's up to you entirely. You've had a lot oh, of real, yeah. life, real life experiences on the street with knife attacks and oh, yeah, 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 yeah. that people don't know okay, about. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, basically, I'm a, I'm a karate black belt. Uh, I was trained in Shodokan Karate and I was graded to my first Shodan by the famous Enoda Sensei in England. I also do a lot. I do also Aikido. I learn a lot of arts, yeah. Uh, I, which I obviously fought in the ring and all. Yeah. So mm. basically, those are uh, the arts that I, I, I do. Uh, and then I am, basically, I learn a lot from my students around the world when I teach them around. You know, yeah, I'm, not a, I'm not a Filipino Kali guy, but my students and friends, my God, they're all big boys in the, some of them are big boys in the Kali world. So basically, I do BJJ as well. I meet, visit my students. I learn, you know. So basically, I'm a seal art man, to be honest. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me tell you what silat is. Let me let me quickly summarize it for you. Silat is a mixed martial art for the uh, for ancient battlefield. There's no rules. There's no rules. Mm -hmm. So we were mixed martial art, ancient battlefield fighting without rules. Yeah. Yeah. We need to survive. So that is what. If you like the shortest description of silat, that's what it is. Yep. All right. Okay. 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 So quickly into yes. Been there, done that. You see, I, uh, I, I, I did. I, I do a lot of fighting in England, outside the ring, inside <laughs> the ring. You know, being young and cocky and uh, handsome those days. No, I'm not so handsome anymore. I used to date weekends white girls, and we go to discos and blah blah. You know who be waiting for me in the disco, right? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so to can imagine, you know, you know, let's go back to the 80s. You know, long hair, everything. You see all these guys out there, and see this. Brown guy, tan guy with a white girl, you know, we can, you know, having fun at a disco. That's not so good, guys, especially <laughs> in northern, northern England, you know. So, yeah, yeah, done that, we done, done a lot of that, knife defense, all that. But, guys, I want you to know, knife defense, what I did in my life, are all against nutters, not against knife fighters, not against the expert. Yeah, mm -hmm. but that's what they can tell you, it saved your life. But the yeah. only thing I didn't do is to disarm and put it back into that guy. So that's the only thing I didn't do, which is, thank God. Or yeah, else thank you. It, I'll be my boss. English, yeah. So yeah. It's, it's true. It's real. Sila is real. And what the way you do, the way you train is the way you react. So you ask me how many times... Hmm, <laughs> once a month, maybe, once <laughs> because the bad guy will definitely the, the skin hit will definitely pull a knife on you. A yes. skin hit. Those days they call yeah. skin hit, yeah. Definitely <clears throat> pull a knife on. And I'm sorry guys, I was bad. I was cocky too. And, 
you know, so I will say. Well, that, well, oh, that's interesting because I, I want people to know. <laughs> and at the time, Francis. that's how we, okay, let me put this again. That's how we, I use the word we, I hope uh, some guru, uh, uh, Richard <laughs> DeVos is out there, we, there's two guys at the time, 1980s, that we practically go out there and beat up people if you say something back about Sila. That's why we're so famous in England. We were featured in all the magazines every month. So that's, I'm sorry, this is not the right way. It's your fault, Guru. Uh, guru. <laughs> yeah. Bukan. Uh, yang tanya soalan. Sorry, uh, Okay. It's your fault. Because he asked that question, sir. <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna be real no, here. No, 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 no. If you turn back 1980s, you still talk to the martial those martial artists of England that day. Talk about yeah. Osman. Yeah. You talk about Richard Dibon. We, in fact, you say something bad, we go looking for you, or you look at us while we're having lunch. Yeah, Richard said, Jack, he's looking at us. Said, no, I want to eat my lunch. He will stand up. And that's it. <laughs> so we, yeah. we did it a bad way. So don't follow us. That is not good. That was not good. That's bad. That's as well as I don't even not even a seal up man way, you know. So we were too young. We were okay. Well I'm not we I would say I was arrogant. I was arrogant. Yeah. So but again, so you know, sometimes you can tell the people up behind you, don't do don't do what I do. That's bad. I was lucky. I was lucky. Yeah, I got away with it. You know, if I went in America, somebody would have shot me. Yeah. England, mm -hmm. no one can shoot you. Not allowed. Yeah. So that's the real thing. Nothing, but that's it. That's uh, it's all out there now. In front, it's, you heard it now. <laughs> um, so that's very interesting stories there. Oh, it's not yeah. interesting. It's a bad, bad, bad actually. But yeah. you know, that's what I said. You know, it's uh, you know. Guru Rodriguez just asked that question. That's really bad. You shouldn't ask that question. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted people to know that you had real experiences on the street, that you're not just yeah, yeah. you actually have experiences. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You know. But remember, people always make the mistake. They think that, oh, you know, when there's a knife fight in the street, you are actually fighting a, a knife expert. No. Mm. There's some knife out there who who hates uh, a brown kid, you know, grabbing a beautiful white girl, you know, in the disco. Mm. That's normally it. You know, mm. those days, you know. Yeah. I can dance. Not anymore. <laughs> Let's see. It. No, it's <laughs> it's <laughs> okay, okay. So um, shall we move to the ground with that? Yeah. We do a dance off then. <laughs> uh, yeah, like I said, sorry, it's meant no disrespect today. I just wanted people to know that you know you you are you do have real life experiences and stuff. You're not gonna oh, say it's yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. it actually good to put perspective in in, in, yeah. in that in that in that yeah. area. Yeah. 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 Um, and you know, know, when you were talking about your auntie, yeah. Yeah. reminded me of a uh, kung fu hustle. You know the auntie in kung fu hustle. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Go with her. laughs> it's like I train. I train with her like seven days a week, and uh, uh, then we go up to uh, Mount Ledang. Mount Ledang is a legendary mountain where where she taught me. A lot of the so-called unique weapons. Yeah, and uh, we will come. We'll come down back to the house, and she's a healer. She's a famous healer. And uh, Friday, Saturday, Friday, Sunday, we will be, will be at her house, at her clinic. That's why I train outside again seven hours. So basically, I train with her like seven days a week, eight hours a day for five years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She said, you know, you're kind of ready, Jack. So there you are. So now. Uh, I do I do teach other styles as well, but no one is teaching the Honeymore Brantai clan stuff. That's why I'm teaching it. All right? Okay. All right, guys? Okay. All right. I think before Guru Brian starts kicking off with the next set of questions, I would like we would like to just say hello to the others uh, who just tuned in. So we got Jerry Jacobs. Good morning, gentlemen, and Prof. Jack. Hard to believe it's been two years since we met in Kentucky. Yes, yes. Yeah, yep. yeah we you've got Brett Reese from Kentucky as well. Um, Chris Hubbard said, when, yeah. yeah, Chris Hubbard said, When I tell people on knife page that Kirambit was a woman's weapon, they never believe it. <laughs> we'll talk tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
No, can yeah, you tell yeah, them to we'll log off real quick? I have to log on to the computer just since kicking me off again. So I'll log okay. back on. All right, okay, okay. And then we've got uh, Lawrence Eugenio. Greetings, sir. Love listening to Professor. Andres Arias, good day from New Jersey. And Carl Stark from Germany. Yeah. Yeah, it's I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah. So when when you were telling all those stories, it kind of like reminded me of uh, uh, Manila as well, back in the eighties. Yeah. Right, right. So we're not really far. <laughs> all right, guys. So, can we move on to Kramit now, or there are more questions? Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah. What uh, Guru Brian is being kicked out by his laptop. So, but anyway, I'll start off basically with. With, with with the question so can you basically share with us um prof, the origins of the karambit okay so to talk about the origin of karambit you got to talk about the origin of the malay race or we call it the nusantarians nusantara people nusantara people are the one that live in south asia today so let me quickly say indonesia malaysia singapore brunei borneo philippines southern thailand and East Vietnam. These are the people on the land called Nusantara. 15,000 years ago, before 15,000 years ago, during the Ice Age, all right, there's only one land. Okay, there is one piece of land that Guru Amir is going to show you right now. Okay, then, mm -hmm. yeah, it's actually, you see, the, the brown area is actually the, the border of the ancient Southeast Asia. See that? Mm -hmm. everything is one piece of land so in ancient times ancient time in ancient <laughs> times animals could migrate across it that's why you find you can find uh sumatran tiger in Borneo. yeah you can find okay. you know uh Japanese rhino up in the southern of thai thailand so in ancient times you can walk from bangkok to manila oh, no not manila southern philippines you can walk from bangkok to kuala Lumpur and down to jakarta if you like, oh, we okay. fifteen thousand years ago. So we were the same people. All right, we were the same people. All right, guess what? Happy feet dance. Too, much, too strong. Not awesome. And the ice <laughs> melted. The ice melted, <laughs> and it drowned the land, and it becomes what it is today. All right. I see. Okay. So let's go back. Okay. Now the first time was called those days. Was called the Stone Age. Okay. This is how we look like during those days. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Like a bit like my hair, guys. A bit Guru Amir, Guru Amir's hair, right? Yeah. Okay. This was all, oh, yeah. all right. Turn it around, Guru Amir. This is where we live. Okay. Uh, prof, I'm going to lower myself down first so that you can, you, you got the better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There you are. We live in caves. All right. Thank you, Guru Amir. Okay, so Stone Age, living caves. All right, guys, are you ready? So typical human and beast, mm. animal. The most friendly animal with human, guess what? Who or which is the chicken? So the chicken will be running in front of the caves. Chicken, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's male chicken and female chicken, of course. The male chicken has a prong on its feet called Taji yeah. Ayam. Yeah. So the ladies yeah. will cut up the chicken and keep that with a hook so that they can hang it around their neck as the last resort. Uh, okay. I call it Taji okay. Ayam. Yeah, the, 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 the prong of the male, the, the cockerel, the cochlea, right? Okay, now, now guys, mm -hmm. after a while, yeah, Mrs. Rodriguez say, hey, we've been eating chicken all day, all month. This is bad. Yeah. And Mrs. Pina say, dude, go get more food. So, yeah, of course, Brian has no choice, right? And Tom has no choice. Call everyone in the village. Hey, we need to go out there and get some more food, guys. Say, what? We've been eating chicken is good, way. Right? And maybe some fish in the, you know. No, let's go, you know, better food. You know, my wife nagging and I can't stand it. So a group of guys carry a long staff and walk into the jungle, looking very sexy like the one in the picture. Right. Guess what is looking at you? Another beast. 
look okay. at the little mm. guys that, you know that walk with a stick and who say whoa this is cool man i've been eating bears and deers you know all these are there's so much fur look at you look at this whoa this is good there's no fur <laughs> so the tiger come on them they fought the tiger and with this with the long staff and you know the tiger is too strong and of course brian and uh, and tom say hey we we gotta leave man we can't fight this beast so everybody mm -hmm. left so when you arrive home yeah mrs amir say where's my husband guys say, uh he's supposed to be back with us but wait he's not back and she started crying and you guys say okay 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 tomorrow we can look for your husband and guess what early in the morning he goes goes back you found amir part of amir mm. red or gone yeah. You brought back that piece of that piece of Amir. Amir. <laughs> <laughs> and she saw there is this thing in the You see that guys? Tiger claw. Oh, wow. Yeah, tiger claw, yeah. Stuck in Amir's body. So he brought it back. So then Mrs. Amir will pick it up. Hey, this is better than the ayam. <coughs> That's better than the cockerel. So she do a hook and hang it around the neck. So this polylagra is the first karambit. It's oh, called right. kuku harimau. There you are, guys. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Razor sharp too of it. So you have wow Tati Ayam, which is the cockerel dish, and this one is called Kuku Harimau. This is stone, stone Age, guys. Okay. Okay. All right. Then the first, the first empire was the first, first, second century uh, emp Malay Empire called Kedah in my country, north, north region, uh, closer to Thailand. So they were Hindus. We were Hindus at the time. Pious Hindus. We were, we, we were was a Hindu. Uh, center for Southeast Asia at the time, Kedah Empire. All right, so first century Kedah Empire. So at the time, there was some kind of metal made. Met metal. We only found out recently. Did they say it was seventh century? It wasn't. It was actually in Kedah. <coughs> we, had, we found a uh, melting melting pot or melting what smith or whatever for them to near yeah, in first first century Kedah. So again history changed so what happened was they changed from this to this okay grammy so, yeah so this yes it's original grammy so it is now, yes, it. yeah and look at that. that is the real grammy the new or if you like the the ancient Rami is that on? Oh, that's that was nice. There you are. That's one. Okay. All right. And then the men start picking up here, and I will show you uh, more than seven hundred <coughs> years ago. And the men use it a bigger version. See that? This is old. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is old wow okay all right so again let's go back it was it was called kuku harimau the claw of the tiger so during that century first century in kada it is still called kuku harimau sometime called taji ayam which is the chicken prong but it is metal. Metal. all right guys so here's another model that i want to share with you of the old uh, version So show the size, show the size, I mean, uh, phone, phone, and see, and it's still small, guys. It's hidden. It's always hidden. Yeah. <clears throat> so now everybody knows, oh, shit, it's small. It's not like what we're holding right now in America or in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Well, okay. Okay. The thing is, the thing is, when it goes to the States, you have to make it bigger. 
<laughs> we'll, we'll get there, Guru, Guru, Guru Brian. We'll get there. Okay, so, so, Melaka, first century is called Kuku Ayam, it's also called Taji Harimau. Okay, remember, we were Hindus this time. All right, then the fall of Melaka gave rise to Sri Vijaya, the seventh century Sri Vijaya based in Sumatra. So, during the seventh century, are we ready? I'm sure most of you are M FMA guys. During the seventh century, there was a migration. I need that picture again. From Sumatra to Southern Sumatra. There was the first seventh century, there was a migration of Sumatra Malay. You know where Sumatra I means? Nampak Cross over to Malay Peninsula, Malaysia. No, no, you can see. Ah, that's Sumatra. Cross to Malay Peninsula. All right, cross to Borneo. And up to the southern Philippines. <laughs> wrong, wrong, wrong. Philippines above, above Sabah. Good. Above. That's it. Southern Philippines. <laughs> All right, okay. guys. The first migration of people, like, people from the mainland towards the Philippines. First, seventh century. Okay, between you and me, Karambit already existed, and it's called Kuku Harimau or Tadiyayam, right? Mm. I'm sure some ladies must have brought it to southern Philippines. All right, that's the first time. And Sri Vijaya became famous. Even the Filipinos are talking about it. They call it the Visayans. So it is from the, the, the people of Sri Vijaya that cross over to the Philippines. Visayan, uh, uh, Guru Tom, uh, yeah, you heard of them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Okay. Remember, we were Hindus and Buddhists. Okay. So when it, when uh, during the seventh century, Islam arrived in Nusantara. Okay. Just, yeah. Just, okay. All right. Then it goes down. On, on the 13th century, the Third Empire, the famous Third Empire, took over and controlled the spice route called Majapahit. They were they were based in Java. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And now, Islam just arrived. In Nusantara and slowly, you know, trying to influence the Nusantarians, but Hinduism is still very strong. At the time, in Java, in Majapahit, it is called Kuku Bima. Uh, Kuku means claw. Bima is a demigod. Demigod. All right. In Thailand, in, in India, they call him Rama. Rama. All right. So it's like a demigod, a, a hero of God. Yeah. So. Because uh, we were very, very Hindu pious, you know, so people of Majapahit name it Kukubima, Claw of a Demi. Oh, okay. And then there's another one also in Majapahit, Majapahit called Kuku Hanuman. Have you heard of the word Hanuman? Hanuman is the Buddhist, Hinduist, demigod, monkey king called Hanuman. Have you heard that? You don't <coughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, mm. so those two are the names at the time in Majapahit. And at the same time, during the 13th century, there was another migration from Java to the Malay Peninsula, across to Borneo, into Southern Philippines. Meaning there was two migrations of the people from the, the main empires towards to, to Philippines. So, like I said, Karambit, I guarantee you have crossed over there. Yeah. For, yes. We hope that we can get that, that model somewhere found in some grave or something like that. Then I will fly out there with my team to, you know, yeah, we would love to do that. But at the moment, we're still waiting. We're still waiting. Okay? All yeah, right? Bam, bam, bam. So, Professor, okay. I have a question before you, before you continue. Uh, why didn't we see, I know you said that the Karambit migrated to the Vizcayas. Why didn't we yeah. see more migration further into the Philippines? Why do you think that is? Why do you think it stopped? Oh, oh, okay, okay. Let me say this. Visayan is actually middle of Philippines. Yeah. They call it the Visayan. Yeah. It no, I yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gentlemen, I am very sure the ancient Karambit has arrived. Karambit, tolong me. Apa lo bawa This. I guarantee you has arrived in the Philippines a long time ago. I guarantee you. Right? But we are waiting for something like this. You know, that somebody may found in some grave or something. We have yet to wait for that one. All right, guys? Okay. Now, now quickly, it gets better and bigger. All right? Towards from Majapahit, from Suja to Majapahit. Look, these are all men's stuff. 
This is our main crown bit. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, look at the other one. Do you realize yeah, it, guys? Yeah, the, 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 pointing forward. the bridge mm -hmm. pointing forward. See that? Yeah. It's not pointing down. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It gets bigger, yeah? Compared it's almost to like 90 degrees. Yeah. So <laughs> the man pick it up and becomes another. It's also a secret weapon or if you like a backup weapon. Yep. See how big it goes? Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's bring it. Then I want to share you this, guys. Beware, people. So you fight warriors. <laughs> cannot be killed by blades. We cut off their heads. They turn around, pick up the head and put it back and fight with you. This is how crazy it is fighting warriors in the ancient times. The Brantai clan fought these warriors because they were paid by, we fought among ourselves because they were paid. All right, then this was created. Look at it. Oh, a different color, huh? It is more than seven metal. This is to kill the immortals. All right. People who cannot be killed. <laughs> okay. If you like, in, in the Philippines, they call it anting anting. They were all the. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah we yeah. kill them with them. <clears throat> Talismans, yes. Our ladies will kill them because it's not considered one or three metal. It's considered a minimum of seven metal. So it's cursed. So that's why oh, wow. Kill. See, so. Oh, now, wow, that's, now, that's really interesting. Uh, gentlemen, you're not talking to a Silat group from London. You're talking from the source, right? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, I know. I, uh, remember, I know. I'm, I know. From England. And I'm not from California. I am from Bloody Malaysia. <laughs> from the remember, remember that. Okay, so there you are. That is the. Okay. Now, from, from Majapahit, the next, the last Malay Empire before the fall, when the arrival of the colonials, was Malacca. Malacca is actually in my country. So Malacca mm. is the last one. That's what was the where the one of the Commodores was Datuk Lamsmana Hangtua, Silat, greatest warriors of all time. He fought everyone until the downfall. <laughs> he passed away, he get old, then then Portuguese took over Malacca and that's it. So it wasn't his time. So they will say that if he was his time, it may be different. So Dato Lamsmana Hangtua. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now so okay guys. So during Malacca time, the last time we call was Kuku Hanuman, the claw of the Daimi gods, right? And Kuku Bima. But Malacca mm. was Islam, full. Majapahit was like 50-50. Malacca, then Nusantara, majority of Islam. So they dropped the Hindu versions and call it the Karambe. In Malacca. Mm. In ah. Ah. Guys, ask me, what, what, what is a Karambe? What does it mean? What? Ask me now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What, what, what does it mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like the previous areas we can say is a prong of the prong of the chicken, it is claw of the demigod, right? Okay, answer. Don't be disappointed. I don't know. <laughs> you see, I think Guru Brian just got disappointed. He, he can see he moves like oh man. <laughs> uh, no, was waiting for that. <laughs> yes, it was named during the 15th century, which is Malacca time. To Karambit, but I don't know, guys. We're still doing research. Okay, okay. Let me just. Right. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna break your heart. We need form living Mahagurus legends or whatever to say the same thing. Then it will become facts. Correct. Yes. Four. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now we do our research at the university. There's four people that say something like that. Then it will become facts. We are still. We have combed. <laughs> from Sumatra across Java up into my country, to Borneo, up to the Philippines, no one knows what it is. No one is calling <laughs> Karambit. No one knows what it is. <laughs> All right. Okay, but one Mahaguru that we found him, and uh -huh. he said that Karambit consists of two. Some words. Two. Two, let's say two words. Two, two what? They normally do that game that says half, half word. Hello. Two words. Two words. <laughs> See, maybe that's it. Kara means drown. Drown. Drown in water. Drown in the sea. Drown in the... In, in, Ram. In, in, okay. In the, yeah, drown, okay? Beat means... It's come from the word terbit. means to surface. Hmm. Surface and drown. Eh, well, okay. All right, now let's go back. The fighting methods of the crown is always hidden. 
you will okay, not yes, hear, yes, yes, yes. you will not see my crown wave guys i'm not I, we don't do it like fma people they flip it around we keep it like <laughs> this right it like a body so so when i open up and step into you <laughs> on seven times that means it it is surface out from something hidden oh okay all right yeah. when i cut you seven times i step back and hold it and show i'm holding the crown wave you be coughing blood and you falling on your knees and that time i tell yeah i got it I got a crown wave. Means you died drowning with your own blood. Oh, so this I is we are very happy you found that. We were yeah. so happy. It was like, whoa, fantastic. Okay, let's find another three. Eh, not happening. At the <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so I call that's... my auntie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She said we call it the Raphael. Well, my client call it the Raphael. Raphael means don't know what again. Raphael. So we didn't call Krambi, we call it Raphael. All right. Until I met another, we have what? We have uh, Tajia Ayam and we have Kuku Harimau, we have Kuku Hanuman, then we got Kuku Bima and we have Krambi. Right? Then I just mentioned yeah. the family of Hanuman, I call it the Raphael. <laughs> Until one day, I met an old friend who makes weapons for me. He said, Prof, have you heard of a weapon called Lambo? Lambong. I was like, Lambong. Lambo. What is? I said, what, what is that? I'm sure you know it. I said, okay. I don't know. So please tell me. I know I'm a professor of martial science, but I don't know. Tell me what. He said that we, you know, in Malacca, sometimes call it the Lambo. Karambit is called the Lambong sometimes because Lambo. Lambo. Because. <coughs> all right guys it is called a lambung because it was the bra wire of the ladies bra wire you understand <laughs> oh lambung means to float the boobs this book so lot the so guru i'm making sure the exercise of the malay ladies books <laughs> wow under brown wire yeah 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 so maybe they said so so basically under under the it's called the wire yeah, yeah yeah so the ladies would use this last last resort weapon just pull it out and just stab the guy you know you know so, I so was it's, wearing, really, it's yeah. really integrated here yeah i can you can imagine the size of american ladies boobs she should be doing <laughs> 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 yeah. oh, sorry ladies we're just talking about you out there i uh, must be that one <laughs> <laughs> okay guys so i was like hey hey i was trained by a lady how come my auntie never said about this i pick up the phone and call her she pick up the phone and say i say auntie are you, 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 you. i just found out from a friend that karambe another name for karambe is Lavo. she left her head off and fall on her back and go, i'm so sorry jack i i am too shy to tell you that it is all called Lavo, one day you will discover it yourself i was like what <laughs> I am supposed to be authority, supposed to be la 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 blah blah blah. I don't. I found it from another guy, which my auntie is supposed to tell me a long time ago, but she didn't because she was shy. Wow! <laughs> oh, wow! Oh, wow! Man. Okay. So oh, there, there you are. are. There you are. So basically, let me go quickly back to the seventh century. The arrival of the arrival of uh, the uh, the Persian people to Nusantara. So the Persian people will come over and give present to the king of whatever land they arrived. Okay, so they would normally give them. Uh, you see, what happened was when they arrived, they give ropes like yeah. any Arab. Okay, that's one weapon. I don't have it here, but it looks like as if do I have it? But small one. They brought this weapon called the Jambia. Okay. Forget it. You don't know where it is. Okay, a jambia looks like this, but without the ring. Imagine no ring. Oh, okay. <laughs> a jambia. 
Uh, that one look more like yours, uh, Guru Brian. It's not curved enough. Okay, so they brought this, yeah. something like this, the Jambia, okay. and gave it to the king. Right. And there is a statue. You can Google it in Sumatra with the king wearing a turban and uh, a big robe and holding something like this, huge, like this. The wicked weapon. Oh, wow. wow! You can find it. Okay, but he's not wearing the Malay attire. He was wearing the robe and the stuff, Arab-looking turban and holding something like this. All right, that was a Jambia. When there was a statue, because there's no picture those days, all King Juan statue, he would wear whatever people give him. And this is what okay. the, the Sumatran people say. So, oh, no, 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 we have a statue. We are the first one. We are the first people that do karambe, the Sumatran people would say. Actually, sorry, it started long ago. It started during the Stone Age, which I shared with you guys just now. So this is something that could be some innovation out there. They say, hey, Prof Jack, you know what I'm saying? No, no. This is the truth, nothing but the truth. That's not a bloody karambe. I use the word bloody already. <laughs> yeah. Going back to your English, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I know I was in England. There you are. Big different. Big different. All right. Big different. Karambit and <coughs> Jambia. Jambia. Okay. Yep. Jambia. Okay. Jambia. Okay. Seven centuries. So, I, I before you ask me that question, I answer already. Before a guy from Sumatra say no, 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 it's ours. I already answer it, guys. Come on. <laughs> Stone Age, first century, not seven yeah. century, please. It's getting hotter now, guys. <laughs> it is. It is. It okay. is. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So, the Jambia do influence the Malay and they create other weapons based on the Jambia. One of it is called the Lawi Ayam. Lawi is a feather. Ayam is a chicken. It is single sided, like the American version. Single sided, I put my hand like this now, I won't cut. Uh, but the curve is like. It's kind of straighter. <laughs> like, uh, okay. Okay. This is, this is a <laughs> one Mahaguru to me. Now, this is Lawi Ayam. So the the curve means from Jambia, it becomes Lawi Ayam. Okay. Influenced by the Karambit. That was a ring. I if see. The ring, but it's not actually the karambit. So again, it goes back to you define the karambit. You see? All right. So the curve <coughs> is not pointing to the opponent. And the curve is okay, the blade is one sided, guys. One sided. No, one -sided, -sided. Yes. yes. Yeah. So we have Lawi Ayam, the, the tail of the feather, tail feather of a chicken. Lawi Ayam. Okay. Jambia. <laughs> All right. At the same time, put it down. The Majapa, the, the 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 Sumatra people come out with this. They call it kuku machan. So again, go there. Influenced by the the karambit, but with the influence of the Jambia with the yeah. ring. It's bigger. <laughs> this is small, guy. In Indonesia now, there's bigger versions like this called. Kuku Machan, Claw of the Tiger. Machan is in Javanese Tiger. I see. Ah, there you are. Okay, are you ready? We are going now. We are going slowly away. Forget it, guys. You don't have to ask me questions. I will answer it before you ask. Me. All right, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and we have another one. We call it Asam Jawa. Asam Jawa is a crumbit without it. Asam Jawa. Come on, Asam Jawa, Amir. Come on, wake up, Amir, quickly. <laughs> Tamarine. Amir is totally shocked uh, now. He's blur. I can't hear. He can't, he's not helping me at all. No, he's panicking. You even didn't even ask him a question yet. <laughs> he's panicking right now. He can't even know. He's good in English. He can't remember Asam Jawa. Tamarine. 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 Yeah. Tamarine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That looks like. Uh, it. Yeah, I think I think Yeah, Yeah, but this was cut like a dragon. 
Okay. Ah, okay. There's no ring. So there is another name. So there are several versions of karambit looking weapon, but not the karambit. Not the karambit, right? yes. Not yes. the karambit. For God's sake, stop calling this a karambit. <laughs> When there's a ring, oh. it's a ramen. Damn! Wake up, everybody! I'm a historian. <laughs> what? Can you stop talking shit? As long there is a drink, it has to be a ramen. Karambo. <laughs> what? what are you guys talking about? Stop calling it a ramen. Call it something else. That is a ramen. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. 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 I know that kind of design has been floating guys, for a while. Guys, I know is watching right now. Please, Guru Da, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Stop calling it Karam Ball or don't know what, you know. <laughs> Karam Ball. Karam Ball. <laughs> Drown, drowning Ball. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, there you are. So, you, have, you can see now how it evolved from Stone Age towards Malacca and the, some of the evolution in the Malay world. All right, guys? All right. Yeah. Now let's go on. Okay. This is a battlefield version used by warriors in ancient times. Look at the size of it. <coughs> oh, yeah. That's you. Yeah. 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 yeah, you know okay. the battlefield <laughs> one, yes. Smooth, <laughs> Uh, this is the battlefield, uh, the small ground wave. Look at the battlefield one used by warriors. That's huge. All right, now highlight this. Bring this down, highlight. And... Uh, okay, can you see, uh, look at that. Can you see the hook there? That's called the ankle. It's close range for close range cutting. When you yeah. punch, you cut with it. So you can see a small ground wave upside down. You see that? Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, all right, all right. So, this wow. is the battlefield. But still, it is a secondary version. It's not a secondary weapon. It's a backup weapon, not a main weapon. So these guys, they pick up the crumbit and think they can fight with a double stick or a machete. It's stupid, isn't it? You fight with a small weapon. I'm sorry. That's why I heard in FMA, you know, FMA world, they say, you know, we can beat up people with the crumbit easily. Of course you can because it's yeah. small. Okay, give exactly. me a long sword and see whether you can cut me out. Yeah. Yeah. So again, those <clears> are, <throat> I, I can't defend Karambit at the time because it's totally in the FME world and people are saying about it, you know. And all that. Okay, so Karambit, there you are. It's not the main weapon. It is a element base or element supply. It's always hidden, used by ladies to cut up people in close range combat. Yeah, so it's not like a dual weapon. It's always an assassin weapon. Assassin. Yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah, so, it is. so, okay, if you think that you have seen all the crumbit, let me, let me just blow you away. Go, oh, first one. This is called the Champaka. Oh, I love that. Champaka. I love that. <laughs> okay, wow. Okay. The Champaka is a flower. It's white. And it op it's, it's long like that and it opens up like that. It's very ah. it smells pretty good. Chumpaka, chumpaka, chumpaka. Don't know. He's panicking again. He can't remember a word of English. <laughs> Come on, you're a man. <laughs> yeah, Come on, you're a man. I don't know why. I should uh, I should have started like, making talk first before me, right? And then it's easy for him. <laughs> so that's the first one. All right. Then we have this, which is called the kembang. Kembang means flower. Oh, it's like the floor in the leaves. Oh, yeah. It's actually a flower opening up. Turn that side down. Yeah. Flower opening up. There you are. Yeah. All right. Looks like some buggy in the Philippines. <laughs> then we have this. It's called Mo. Another flower. Turn it upside down. This is the jasmine flower. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, hello, King of Crumbit. Are you really King of Crumbit now? <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> right. Then we have this. I'm sure you guys have seen this because they already copied it because somebody from Indonesia brought it to America and they copied it and it, 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 it actually used in the movie called Batman. Yeah, uh, yeah. 
Yeah. This is the Tando Kerbau, the horns yeah. of buffalo. But yeah. who knows how to use it? That's very exciting. Nobody knows how to use it. You'll have to learn it from me. Okay. I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the next one is called the Lawi Ite. It's the tail, tail of the wild duck. It's it's like the weapon in... Is it Riddick? Okay. Eskimo. Eskimo weapon. Yeah, yeah. The weapon yeah. in North America. Eskimo weapon. Uh, they call it Ulu. For Ulu. Skin. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So, again, look, it's not Ulu. Look at it again. Okay, it's sharp. There, I will stab you using this. I can slash you with this. I can punch you with this part. So you have a knife, karambe, knuckle duster. All right, and an axe. Roll it to one. Axe, we can like four weapons in one. I will uh, march. I'll be in America and Europe. I will teach this for the first time. For the first time in history, I will teach this. I will introduce it. Let's see how the Americans take it. I think they're going to freak out, I'm telling you. So, yeah. then, oh, then well, all the weapons are there. You see, if you say there's only one Karamit, so again, so again, let's go back. So, we have, see, the one that America created, one sided blade because of the rules. Because yeah. You cannot do it. yeah. <laughs> but it's curved down because everybody laughs and nobody is teaching. So the Filipino martial artists look at each other. Uh, maybe we'll do it like this. It looks curved, but it's also look like an ice pick knife. Yeah. So that's what happened. And then the American Filipino martial artist group created it. If you could go boom, and then they go to China. Of course, the Chinese stole it. <laughs> <laughs> so that is a modern comedy story, guys. Of course, some of my students already created it with the way that you saw. Yep. Uh, yeah. okay, okay, oh, I've got a question. I've got a question. Okay, okay, then, yeah. then there were there are new evolution in my country in Malaysia and also Indonesia. Evolution, all right. <laughs> the first one I want to share with you is called Rambit Kujang. Kujang is a weapon, another weapon of Java. So, this one was created in Java. But it is a hybrid version. Whoa. Nice one. The claw, the claw. The claw. Yeah. I'm drooling. I just can't show it live. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, I call this a tactical version. We are creating fighting techniques based on blah, blah. It's all rival sided and it's a knife. It's a crumbit in one. Okay. That's the first one. Kujang crumbit. Or crumbit kujang. I think you guys will love this. Hang on. It's always not coming. Every ah, guys. This is Karambit Kappa. Karambit X. Oh, no, man. Weapon, huh? Like they're using oh, the man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're using yeah. the autopsy. We call it, we, again, this fall into the tactical Karambit from, from, from based on the based on Silat here. So I, I'm working on new syllables and all that. This is new stuff. New stuff. Crazy. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Look, look, at, look at Ryan's eyes. My God, look at Ryan's eyes. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> okay. Wow. Let me share you Need another one. one. <laughs> Need. <laughs> you have to let me know when you've been doing like all these uh, lessons for like Z. Like <laughs> this, this one. It looks like a Lawi Ite. Now we eat it. Yeah, sure. Now we eat it. Okay, guys, I want you to know the big one. Yeah. They call it meat cutting knife in Kedah. The old Kedah okay. Empire. Is it now we eat it? Is it not now we eat it? We're still doing research. Okay. Good okay. next Looks yeah. similar, but <clears throat> yeah. But the, it's, yeah, it's yeah. not, but it's not sharper up. Yeah, it's not longer. Yeah, it's, it's a sharper up. up. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's actually used for cutting meat. Yeah. Yep. It's almost like irony clothes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. 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 I allow you to okay. ask any question. One last one I share before we move forward. Okay. Some people came to my country and stole it and went back to their country and claimed that it is a Siamese karambit. Or Siamese. a karambit from southern Thailand. <laughs> Okay. 
So this, that one guy, don't mention name, he came, let us meet my students, go Pandeka, one Yusma, okay, this one. Oh, I've seen that. Little act? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I'm teaching you to the world. This is the Harimau Brantai clan. It's also a lady's weapon. He used to cut meat and fish and blah, 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 blah. It's very small. All right, guys. Okay. Again, put it back. All right. This is called Kapak Binjai Manis. Kapak Binjai Manis. Kapak Manis. Binjai Manis is the name of a village in southern Thailand. All right. In southern Thailand, it's used. It's used by baddies. It's used by the bad, uh, bad, bad ass guys to kill people. Assassin, put it up here. Right? All assassins stole. Yeah. Very small. Okay, you can hit, you can cut, and you can stab. The one you see down, down is wood. It's made of wood called nibong. Okay, nibong is very poisonous, guys. So you want to kill the guy? You want to kill the guy? Use what? The blade. Okay, you want to teach the guy a lesson? Use what? The wood. The wood. The wood. Put it down, I mean, let's go and scare off everyone. Yeah. This is the original version. Oh. Wow. Uh, <laughs> it's, yeah. it's remade by a friend from here. New, an old model uh, re, redone by me. Okay, now, uh, why, did the, okay, why did the guy that stole it from us call a crumbit? They call it the Siamese crumbit because you can hold it like this. Uh, oh, crumbit! <laughs> it's not a crumbit, guys. Stop being bullshitted by bullshitted by people. You know this guy is famous. <laughs> this guy the world too, and bullshit you guys and say you so Siamese crumbit. Excuse me, crumbit my ass. Whoop! Did I say something wrong? <laughs> okay. Right. okay. 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 Now, okay. That was the original one, but. The the guy that changed they changed it to this because he wants to hide this from the public. So he created. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, now, yeah. and it's so famous up north in my country. It says that because it's used for assassin, right, to kill people. People will say, "Oh, you know, it's not us," because we are from Malaysia, right? Northern is Kelantan. Kelantanese people will say, "Oh, no, 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 it was us. It's the Thai guys because they call it Kapak Siam." They call it nah. the, 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 the X of the Thai people. Actually, it's ours. <laughs> okay. Okay. Nah. Okay. All right. Here is the Harimau Brantai clan version. This is our original Kapak Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Knife, X, everything you want. And turn it around for me, please. Just because Guru Ame holy like this is not a crumbit, guys. It's a kapa. What are you doing it? I think we're almost done, bro. Eh? We can open for questions right now. I guess what else? Uh, before I need that, I've shown that one. I've shown this one. Da, 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 da. Thank you very much. Questions, guys. Um, wow. I'm amazed. I'm amazed. <laughs> I'm, I'm in dreamland. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, okay, it's just uh, how, you know how they people come up with all these weapons, like with the different designs. I everything. Mean, it's 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 fascinating and it's uh it's pretty damn awesome. Like oh yeah, I never yeah, knew yeah. there was that many kind of weapons, that type of weapons. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Brian, my answer. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, yeah. guys. So, these are basically the history from Stone Age down to what we see today. All right? <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Crumbit is a, a lady's weapon, originally a lady's weapon. And then we saw how small a Malay lady's boobs were. were. Now the Malay, Malay's boobs are bigger. <laughs> because they didn't eat cheese at the time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sick diet. Right. So it is a lady's uh, weapon. So when in okay, here's the truth. Nothing but the truth, gentlemen. Are you ready for this? You better hear this. All right, Karambit was made famous by the Filipino martial arts people. Uh. It is famous worldwide by them, by you guys. <laughs> I thank you guys for making it famous. But it was adopted 
and can yeah, and it was. It your way, your way. Yeah. yeah. So, mm. but yes, Rambit is very famous in the land of the Malay world. But it is a banned weapon. Weapon that being banned yeah. in Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, Thailand, because of how because it's because of its you know features. You know, it kills. Yeah, people. it's it's yeah. it's so, assassin. Yeah. Yes. Yes. All right. So it is a lady weapon. So again, in the silat world, I don't want to talk about Indonesia. Let me talk about Malaysia first. There are three hundred and thirty registered group of silat schools. Plus another, don't know how many, easily 300 non-registered to the government. <coughs> so I pick a stone and I throw, I will not hit a crumbit expert. I will not hit a crumbit expert. Why? Two things. It's a lady's weapon. Remember we talked last night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 I want to wear a big sword, you know. You know, one. Two, it is being banned by the governments of many countries. Uh. So it's kind of like, you know. I don't know. Yeah. And it is That's obviously right. ladies. Now, it is used hidden. By the time I unload, unleash, yeah. the dead man, yeah. I have no chance. So, yeah. in space, guys, are you ready? Okay. Listen, ladies and gentlemen. Defang the snake. Ah. I think mm. everybody's going, oh, heard of that. Cut it into pieces. Mm. Cook it. Mm. Eat it. Mm make it disappear. It is an ancient combative principle of Nusantara. Okay. Before the arrival of Islam, Islam people don't eat snake. But before that, yeah, snake was good. <laughs> <laughs> Python barbecue. <laughs> oh, yeah. so, okay, let's understand this, okay? Now, we all believe that you kill a snake, you better smash the head and cut it out and make it disappear or another snake will come looking for you. It is yeah. part of war. It's all about killing someone and make sure nobody yeah. knows. Exactly. That's true. Oh, shit. I use the word kill. <laughs> Destroy someone. Destroy uh, <laughs> someone. Okay. All right. We have to do a right. Yeah. So, <laughs> and, okay. Let's go back to my study with Ma, Ma, Ma Intan. Yeah, we call Ma means mother. We were on a car and we're going towards Mount Leda to do my training. And out of the blue, out of the blue, a big python jump out from the bus, from, from, from the bush next to the road and strike a big, a big truck. Right? Okay. And when, when it falls, another truck hit him. And just was, and roll over into into the uh, bush. And my, mm -hmm. my auntie said, "Do you see that?" I said, "Yes." Yeah, 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 I saw that. Next week, same time, same ish time, because we do we go up the mountain to train every week. At almost the same spot, out of a blue, another python jump out and strike a black a black truck that look like the other truck last week. And roll over into the and you know I was like, whoa! My auntie said, "See, I told you, I told you. You see, the scientists are not right. We are right because the scientists have proven it many times. Appear on Net Geo and Discovery Channel. There's no such thing. Oh. There's no such thing. Uh, you know the uh, the the the, the uh, not Python, the one that's right. The Cobra uh, the don't cobra. have that. You know, uh, uh, a photographic you know eyes. You know." Yeah. Oh, okay. Many times by scientists. That's why my auntie says, see, you see that? You see that? I say, yes, yes. Believe me. That's why we say, you know, you kill a, uh, you know, defend the snake, cut it into pieces, cook it, eat it, make it disappear because you don't want another snake come looking for you. For you. Yeah. That's so true. defend the snake is very simple. I think most of you know. Destroy the arm, mm. destroy the leg. And what do you do after that? Cut the damn guy into pieces. By the time you leave him, he's don't look like Jack anymore. You look with someone else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is the concept of using the karambit. Yeah. So, Professor, can you? Uh, are you willing to? And if you want to, you don't have to. If you, to do a demo with the karambit. Oh, we can. We can. Of course. Let's open the question. Oh yes, please. 
Come on, guys. Yes, Any questions? Uh, let me see. We'll go down the list. Oh, uh, yeah. But I, I have a question. Have all Prof my Jack. questions. I've got, the, I've, got, I've got a question, Prof Jack. Go on, sir. Um, do you use the karambit, uh, hold the karambit in another way? Yes. Because, uh, yes, you do. Yes, you do. All right. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So, that, uh, yeah. so it's not always in the reverse grip type that you hold it. Okay. A standard hold. Yeah, standard hold. Yep. Yeah. And this one. The neck hold. Oh. Okay. So the ring is in the middle it's finger, not, not in the little finger. Or you can as well. It's not like this. It's not like this. Like many of you right. copy it. Many people copy the hold like this. Which one is longer, guys? Yeah, that's gonna be longer. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, so we have one. We have. I cannot show you the flip. Is the is the family secret? We will yeah, yeah, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, good guys. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right. Of course, you've seen this one. The flip out. Mm. This is for long range. Yeah. Yeah. So many people know FMA guys use this and this. Only two. That's it. Yeah. 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 Right. That's true. Yeah. And we have. The one that goes, the one that goes like this, okay, and that's one, and then another one that goes like this uh, here inside. So I think Guruame, you should bring it in as I do. And that one. All right. Here we go. Go. Which side? Left hand. Ah, there you are. Rendah sikit. Lower, 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 lower. There. Okay. So there was very, very. It is for close range. All right, and the last one, uh, there you are. You see, Guru Ame is panicking and forgetting everything. <laughs> ah, that's a nice, that's a nice way of the... Okay, that's close range. Yeah. Yep. Okay. okay. All right, then we have that one, da, 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 da. Ah, this one, yep. This is Tiger Claw. Then you claw, you hold the guy. Ah. All right. All right. After I, teach, after I teach this to the boys, then I should teach them this. And I say, you don't need to flip it around anymore. There's three weapons in one. One yeah. weapon. Oh, bro, no, we learn it. We take so many. <laughs> he shows this. After I showed this, then I teach them this. And I say, this one will make this one look nothing in combat. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then after that, they say, yeah, and I showed them this, how to fight. <laughs> oh, bro. It's growing. <laughs> you know, you know, you teach how to flip around, then you show the... <laughs> wow. Yeah, there, there you are. There you are. Okay, okay. Thank, thank you for answering that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, come on, guys. Questions, come on. More questions, guys. The tools to top make options for each piece is the same. Oh, come on, there's no question. It's it's all to break. <laughs> I think everybody's taking it, taking it really well. Uh, Brent Reese says this brings to thought that many carpentry tools <laughs> are or can be used the same. So transmitting <laughs> yeah. it from there to, to yeah, carpentry, yeah, 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 yeah. current use. Uh, Guru Deem oh. joining. He says, yes, we can definitely see how the FMA community propagated it. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Okay, you allow me to talk a bit on that? A bit of the FMA thing and what happened in history? A little bit? Sure. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys, guys, guys. Again, 7th century, 12th century <laughs> arrived in southern Philippines. Okay, agree just now? We all talked about that just now, right? Okay. 7th and 12th. Malay community has crossed over from the mainland towards the Philippines. Philippines are Malays, actually. It's just been... The Spanish arrived, closed it down, Christianized everyone, and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. All right, so twice. Okay, guys? Now, next one. In the modern day, all right, as early as the 1980s, 1970s, there are many Silat people that cross over to America from Indonesia, <laughs> and they started like Risai Diri and a few, all right? Uh, at the time, Kramit was shown there, but it didn't get, you know, it didn't get famous or nobody know about it. 
And then we have uh, the late Don F. Gregor, Shihan Don Gregor, traveled to Malaysia and Indonesia and wrote about the Karambit in his book called The Indonesian Martial Arts. He did mention the Karambit, okay? But still, nobody really knew it. 1980s, two guys, two guys. One in America, the late Pandeka Herman Sawanda introduced it in America. All right, 1980s. 1980s. Mm. I teach in England. All right. Pandeka Herman is the one, not me. He's the one that opened the big door and teach everyone. Unfortunately, he died in a car crash in Germany. And his students started. Okay. And he started giving seminars. And there's a lot of FMA people learn from them. All right. But how much they learn? Big question mark because the family guys from the US is the one that made it famous with their I speak whole extension of the hand concept and a bit of Bali song stuff in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's one. Mm -hmm. Another one is that I wasn't the guy. I was <laughs> I was stingy. I was just teaching closed doors. I wasn't really want to teach it because because I, I met Guru Dan and Guru Dan talked about Bali Song, how he's trying to not to introduce it and eventually he becomes a ninja weapon. So it's true. So I was like, shit, Guru Dan said what Bali Song. I'm not going to show this. I'm not going to show this. I go, you know, I graduated and I went home. But the Guru students, the Guru Haman in the US start teaching it and teach seminars and FMA guys love it and they pick it up. And, and who else going to teach us? I just we they, they got it from the seminars. Okay. Another one is from here. A guy by the name of Omar Hakim. He's famous in a way in the FMA world. Came yeah. here, yeah. saw it and brought it back to America. And according to stories, I'm not right, maybe I'm wrong, is that it was showed to the Grand Tohan. Grand Tohan of Pekiri. Uh, uh, the, the the big grandmaster uh, of Pekiri, Tisha, Trisha. Uh, uh, Leo 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 he says, I approved, and that's it. The kiddies start swinging the crumbit the way they want to, okay. it. and everybody starts the crumbit. And 1990s towards 2000 is the FMA boom, boom, everybody wants to do FMA, and crumbit right there. All right, okay, world mm. famous. So uh, Jansen, that's the history. There you are. There's nothing to hide now. Karambit is a Silat weapon adopted and become world famous. Thank you, Filipino yeah. brother. But we are here to teach you or introduce you the real, the Silat version. All right, which is defend the snake, cut it to pieces, cook it, eat it, make it the Silat. Uh, hey, maybe we can get on the demo now. Oh. <laughs> Wow. I'll wait for more questions before we start demonstrating. Uh, okay. Okay. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Ask questions, please. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get. I promise you, I will not run away. I will share with you. <laughs> Don't worry. Ask questions. Any questions? Any uh, have the thing? No, I think yeah. everybody, uh, everybody's recognized by the history. I know, I know, I know, guys. That is normal for professor judge the seminars or normal i've got most of the time i will cover the whole the whole thing yeah yeah, yeah because that's very important guys all right it is it is so, it is like now like now what what's the mission the mission is now to travel the world and share with everyone who wants to do the crumbit i'm not saying stop your crumbit that's unfair that's so unfair guru tom right you guys have been doing it. Don't stop. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm going yeah. to show you. Now empty your cup and I will show you the Silat way. You know? Yeah. Really? That's true. Everybody go, oh, okay. Oh, oh, that one's fantastic. I mean, we love that. We love that. We've been doing it the last 10, 15 years. But, oh my God, look at this old man and his crumbit. Ah, that's a different ballgame. We had, but because I will show it the way the ladies would use it. How crazy. Wow. Uh, you know, so we'll do that in a minute. After this, don't worry, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, please ask questions. I will not run away tonight. I will stay with you. Questions? No, I... Right. Um, so, the question I had, I want to actually... I 
you know, say to people. Uh, I've taken some of uh, uh, those uh, webinars, and he does go very thoroughly into before we use it, history of the weapon, and proper use of it. So, I highly recommend it. I'm going to plug them. I highly recommend it. Take it the webinars. Uh, uh, Guru, I can't hear you. Oh. You got to ask him one more time. Yeah. Okay. 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 Can you hear me now? Repeat. Okay. Yes, sir. I just want to tell uh, the people that I've taken your webinars and uh, you go very thoroughly into explain the history of the weapon and how to properly use it. So I, I highly recommend um, people they take your webinars and take your classes. And uh, I, I know I've been slacking. I know I haven't been <laughs> as much as I used to. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm still I'm still studying the comment with you. So yeah. uh, plug him and 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 take take his classes. Um, I, the question I had was. Uh, um, on the evolution of the Karambit, where do you see, where do you think that the uh, the next evolution is going to be? I mean, we're going to have a Karambit that's like all the way around. Are we going to have? Are we just going to stop there? Or where are we going to go from there? Good, good question. Like I said, we have some <coughs> evolved, we get some evolved version which I showed you earlier, right? Yeah. So what what I I, I always feel that uh, all the tactical stuff, all the new version created in America across Europe, copied by the Chinese, that's fine, you know. You guys carry on with that, but I I am not. I will not be wearing t-shirts and camouflage pants. I'll be teaching you wearing yeah. this. You know? <laughs> so I will be the what the man the the, the I mean the, the the old man. I will teach you the karambit. Oh, I, I will teach you the evolution of the family of the karambit. All right, and later maybe I will just wear you know uh, uh, dark dark green t-shirt and wear camouflage pants and start teaching you this. <laughs> these, are new versions. these are all the new versions yeah you know uh, yeah these are like this uh like this these are all new so there you are but i don't think i want to do that i let i let you guys do that you know i will teach you the uh you know there's a lot look at how many models are just uh, just yeah you know dangle in front of your face you know these have a whole syllabus I know. They yeah all this we are introducing this right now on webinars. I'm going to call uh, next March of travel the world. I will start teaching the seminars. So I want to invite everyone come and learn it, you know, so that, ah, you know, guys, so that in ten, in five years time, you see kids flipping this around and you go to the kids and say, uh, excuse me, what is that? And the guy would say with this, this French Italian slang, you know, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay where do you learn it oh i learned it from guru a okay who is guru to guru a guru b who is guru b's teacher i don't know i probably pass away <laughs> um we have a question then, from guru, from guru and, b and then you see guru tom will say um okay flip around let me see that's not right Say, yeah. So this guy will turn around and say, how, how come you say it's not right? And Guru Ankur yeah. will say, guess what? I train with a man who introduced it to the world. Guru Jack! Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 we heard of him. Yeah. Uh, is he bald? No, he wasn't bald. <laughs> That's not fair. It's like you see today, you see so many Bruce Lee students and argue with each other and all that. It will happen. Yes, well, I'm telling you, it will happen. Especially with all these tons of fancy crumbies that are coming yeah, out later. Yeah, right? yeah, the, yeah, yeah. It's going to be crazy, guys. Well, so, we have a question. What I'm going to say is, this is the time. You know, I'm six. Yeah. I travel the world and teach. This is the time for people to take it and fit it into your army. As long as you say, I learned it from from, from Jack. From Jack, it's a sila thing. Da, 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 da. You know, if you want to follow my system, great. If not, we just still be brothers with you know. Yeah, small, small. If you like, uh, uh, so called not. You know, we are we are like family. You know. Okay, some questions, sir. We have a question. Ask questions <laughs> from from Guru Dean. Okay, he says, uh, Guru, do you see see lot getting like FMA getting lost in translation in some aspects? <laughs> Guru Dean, that's a bad question. Some see like guys. <laughs> 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 Did it open a can of words? <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Let me try to <laughs> beat around the bush instead. Okay, there's so many Silat style created in the West. 
and uh, those are runaway students on uh, some one or two are mine and if in the UK will be Guru Debos. US, my God, there's so many. <laughs> they create the uh, Silat uh, uh, styles and name it. Use they use Google and have uh, to, to get it translated to Malay names, and it oh. is so bad. It's like saying, guys, here. Yeah, it rained yesterday, right? It rained yesterday, and I brought the umbrella, umbrella with me. Okay, when the boys, the white boys translated, it becomes yesterday raining. Today I bring, I bring umbrella, bring come, I bring come <coughs> umbrella. It's like what? You see all these names, like that's wrong Malay, not even correct Malay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Guru did not even correct Malay. Yeah. They name it against the principle of Silat. For example, it's like there are bad words like die. That's why I keep saying death. <laughs> bad word in the Malay world or Silat will die. You shouldn't say die as a name of your style. And some, you know, dude in you know some America, uh, Central America calls their style, you know, uh, the way. Black Death Sila. I said, what? Excuse me? Who is your teacher, man? But I can't say that. If I say that, I'll hurt people's, you know. But if they fly over here, then mm -hmm. I will tell him nicely. Nice. <laughs> there are words like dogs. Dogs yeah. shouldn't be the name of Sila style. But somebody in the West created the name of his style based on dogs. I was like, man. Dogs. Oh. And then people ask me in Malaysia, bro, we heard of this style, something like dogs. Is he one of your runaways? No, he wasn't one of my runaway students. Yeah. So this is okay, yeah. this is what happened, right? So I have friends uh in the Philippines that teach uh, their grandmasters of FMA and they were saying that prof, you know. We are sad sometimes to see how many uh, new styles of FMA created in the US, in the West. You know, they went to seminars and put uh, two and two together and becomes four and they create their own system with fancy names. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. So, same thing. So, we are hoping yeah. that it will not happen. And that's why I said I travel the world and teach. I have other Sila people across America and, and the US. Carry on, let's carry on. We are brothers, you know. So, there you are. That is the fear. But it is happening already. Yeah, that's true. Um, that's true. Uh, yeah. Um, any other questions you have in there? Let me see. I want to try to think. No. Uh, no. Shall we go yeah. with the demo? Everything. <laughs> all my questions were stolen already. Took all my questions already. There were questions. No. So I don't have any more. I think you have to make answers. <laughs> I didn't have a chance. <laughs> okay, okay. So, oh, wait, wait, wait. sorry. All right, quickly, I'm going to work on uh, certain matters and uh, we'll go into the defend the snake and we cut it into pieces and then uh, then I'll come back to questions. So, we'll, we'll share some techniques. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. We're, we're just going to lower ourselves down now. All right. Okay. So, we're to the zone. Okay, guys, so first is the way we hold it. Okay, the holding of the crumbit. All right, I'll work on the first hold. You, there you are. Okay, so we always hide our crumb. See, you cannot see it. Yeah, we always hide. We don't flip it around, or the guy will just shoot you because you have a small weapon. So we always hide it. Okay, okay there's many ways to hide it. You can hide it on the side of the body, you can under the hand. See, this crumb is quite big, but you still can't see it. Okay, now, okay, so. What we normally do is, 
So, in Silat, we don't believe in block and counter. Always believe in moving out of the trajectory of the attack. Okay, I want to share with you quickly, you cannot hurt someone who is not there. If you're not there, somebody cannot hurt you. If you stay and block and counter, you'll always be there and you are always target. All right? So in Silat, we lanka. We step out. We move out. If you always say lanka, die. All right? So here we go. I want the first one. No, you want me? Okay. Now, so he comes at me, straight at me, I move out. No matter how I do, he can come straight with up. I move out. He said six. No matter what, I move out. All right? Okay? So the first one, I'm going to cover it. All right? So defend the snake is always destroy the weapon hand. You guys know that. You guys learn it and practice it. Okay? But we apply it by using the footwork. You always get out of the way. Now I'm going to do that one more time with Guru Ame so you can see it. All right, guys? So let me, let's do from the side. Okay. So he comes straight at me and I move. He comes straight at me six and I move. He comes at 12, I move up. He comes from that side, I move up. See? He comes from that side, I move into it, but I will kill it. See? So you move out, out. Then you apply your technique. Remember, ladies' technique, we do not want strength or skill. Right? Okay, so let me show the first defense. Okay, the first defense is he comes at me, I move out, I slash, and I stab. Okay, let's move on here. Guys, that's the arm. I slash, and I put this between the radius and the ulna. I slash, I put it into the hand. So I put it inside the hand. All right, so again, come. So from here, I move out, I slash. I slash and put it in, into the hand. It goes between the two bones, I turn it around, I can take it for a walk, man. Yeah? All right, okay, so let's do it. From here, I slash, I step, I turn, I push it back. So meaning that, Slash, I put it into the two bones. Okay, I punch this way, turn this round, I punch this way, this will cut upwards. Meaning that these two bones will fly up. Okay? Alright, do you think he will be still talking to me or he will be running away? Blood all over the place. Yep, one more time. So, from here, okay, ready guys? Here we go. So, you take it here, slash, snap, punch away. Okay, here we go, guys into the throat, twist it around, cut it around. Do you think he can see me? Cut it! See, I cut the throat from here. It goes into this... Oh, it goes into the throat, I turn the blade this way. And I use this to cut around. Now he cannot see me. Right? Off. Okay, ready guys? Into the kidney. Yep. <laughs> Twist. Cut it up. <laughs> okay, so let's see the blade. Okay, one more time. So you go. Boom. One straight, cut it around. Crap. Kidney, kidney. Tear it. Please stay away. No. Okay? Right. So, I give you another version, which is inside. So, again, guys, so we don't do this. He step, I block, he step outwards, I step me out again. He step, I block, he step me, I block, he cuts my hand, he trap my hand, and tell me, I block again, I turn it around. We don't do this. We don't do that. We don't do that. We never allow you to do that. Once you give a hand, you give a chance to counter. See, we don't do that. We just don't do it. Now look, he comes and move out. I didn't give you a hand. How are the hell are you going to counter? Alright guys, cut here. That hand, I know it's coming. That foot, 
Once this feed goes up, it's light. I know it's coming. So there's no magic in Sila. It's all science. Yeah, there's no magic. It's all science. Yeah, understanding, positioning, putting the right place. Okay, now look at this, guys. This one. I'm gonna go move. I'm gonna go inside. Okay, now look again. Look at the football. We don't do one, two, three. We do one. Again, it goes back to the footwork. Yeah. So I put my crown with it. As soon as he moves, I put into the chest. You know, if the line, the straight line is here, if I stay here, I get hit. So what I do is, yeah. So it's very small movement. So he comes at you, you move. Can you imagine the crowd? Cut upwards. Spin on the door. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So, yeah. Moving it. Yep. Again, it comes at you. Straight into the door. Yep. Again. Again. Cut upwards. Okay, now from the cut upwards and cut to take this boom, cut away. Jeez. So I go one more time. So this time, this the first one, I descend the snake, cut it to pieces. The second one is I blow the candle out. It's dark, can't do anything. So these are sila principles. So when I teach, I always go from principles to application. So here, see, when I move out, I put his feet into the throat. That means I just cut off his, yeah, he can't see me anymore. He can't even think. I cut out with his, ah, I cut the throat. Ah. So it is one, two, three. See that? Yeah. Move, one, cut upwards, and cut. One move, one breath. Yes, yeah, so he goes. So we go. Oh, cut, I was cut. Yeah, I'm not holding anything. Or else Guru Ame and the one who's standing in front of me. Okay. So again, so you look at it to understand that the cuffs we in me, you move. Cut. Cut, cut. cut the throat. Now here go. Put it inside here and cut along the hand. <laughs> So I just show you two two principles, two times application inside and outside. Let's go back to questions. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Any questions? So I give you two two examples based on the. Uh, you see, again, guys, first thing, many people say, hey, how come he didn't do what we do? You see, that, was, that was an awesome demo. You know what I'm trying to say? Because many people believe that, you know, we call it palampas. Like this. Yeah. yeah. He attacked me, and I brought, he counters. I brought, he counters, and he comes to me down, and I'm back inside. Here. We call it palampas. To us, it's a game. To us, yeah. it's a game. Right? What are we do just now is called bua. Bua. bua means take him home. Dead. Mm -hmm. I used to word dead again. Sorry. Destroy him. Yeah. So one person says that we in Silat, we go to death, meaning that when you move to a certain position and you counter, you already know it's human. You, you control the right hand, the left hand is on the other side. And there's two legs to kick you, to sweep you. So we put it in a position where you have no chance, especially when the blade is in your arm and I turn it around. You'll be screaming your head off. The second yeah, one, when I the blade, he went straight into the throat and I cut upwards, I cut the throat. He'll be chicken. That's it. Just been slaughtered. Yes. So this is this is Kramit method and this is Sila based, you know, on the Kramit. Question, guys. Yep, that was awesome demo. I never, I recognized some of those Karambit stuff in the last webinar we did. <laughs> what? I can't hear you. <laughs> yeah. So no but but you can see it is a short weapon. You do not want the guy to know you're holding the Karambit. See? No. 
If the guy knows the crown, oh my God, if it, he will not. Okay. Be, you know. We have a we have a question from uh, Guru Chad Bailey, sure, and he sure. says, "How do you how do you use the karam bit for balance disruption balance. to set up for sweeps, takedowns, or throws?" Good question. Good question. How do you use the karam bit for balance disruption to set up for sweeping, takedowns, and throws? Okay, uh, Guru Guru Chad. Once a karam bit is in the body, the way I teach. You don't need that anymore. You did. <laughs> you did. Uh, you see. So again, I'm not saying that. Uh, yeah, the way we do it is there. You can see. You go to cross jump. That's that's real combat stuff. You know the way I put it into the throat. I cut it up. Can you imagine? I put it into the throat. I yeah. cut it up. This will open. <laughs> then I cut the throat again. It's like <laughs> it's like cross. You know. Yeah. So it will just go and just blow him. He'll drop. You don't need to disturb the balance and whatever, you know. <laughs> of course you can, but you don't really use the, the crumbit. Use you see, you see the mindset? The crumbit is a yeah. used to to take someone's life. Yeah. If if the guy survive, remember you are holding a small blade. He might pull a gun out or bring a bigger weapon, you're dead. Dead again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you kind of yeah. It's difficult to fight because crown bit is not for duels. Yep. For yep. ambush attacks. Wow. Yeah. This is they are me they are meant for assassination. This yeah. is been, this has been uh, fantastic. Uh, we're starting to come up a little bit on two hours. Um, oh, professor, yeah. are you interested in doing a part two sometime? Part two interview. Yeah, we can. Of course, there are, yeah. many, there, there are many other titles that we can share that I like to share. Yeah, sure. sure. We definitely, we definitely need you. Is, definitely. One is Isilat, Isilat Kali or Isilat Arnis Eskrima Kali. That's a good big question mark. Yeah, that's, really, a, that's, a, that's a good one. And then, mm, we'll that's a good one. Yeah. Uh, and, then, yeah. and then, guys, what I always say that you know, as flip back off, you will not be able to handle a Filipino martial artist armed with short sticks because the weapon was taken away from you and you have to live with that for centuries. We, weapon were not taken away from us. We went underground. That's why we don't use, yeah. that's why I see Silat like, man use short stick. I was going like, eh. Filipino guys, yes. You know, you don't, you don't, you okay. You don't piss around or you don't bullshit with the Filipino guys when you come to state because they are the best in the world. And we, we, we know the history, how it goes, and blah blah blah. So, the, the thing is, at the end of the day, there's one thing for sure that we are Nusantarians, we are people of Nusantara, we are the same people. It's just been divided because of the colonization. So, again, it'd be nice, you know, to talk about, about yeah. that. You know. Uh, sure. There's another one that I think that another, another exciting uh, topic would be Guru Tom would be the Chris, the Chris, the Chris sword, Guru Tom. Yes. Yeah. Chris. Yeah. 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 How, we do have that. Yes. Yeah. We all we all call it the Chris. We all call it the Chris, right? And how yeah, we, how, how did it evolve? You know. So this is a. Okay, you know. Standard Chris. I, I would like okay, to see. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Okay, we call this a sundang Chris. Sundang means sundang, yes. So Chris. And you also yeah. use the word sundang. We'll get there. So yeah, yeah. we also the, use the word sundang. The, the, the history, the evolution, and how it is today is also cool because the Filipinos use this as symbol. I can see many boys, Filipino boys in the US, use this as yeah. symbol, the logo of their school. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And this is the Chris for us. Chris. The Chris, yes. Okay. All right. This is the Sundan Chris, where the Filipino call it a Chris. Look how small the Chris, mm. the Chris. But the features are all the same. This is another exciting, exciting uh, type, uh, topic. Yeah, topic. definitely. You know? We can talk about that. You, 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 you see what I mean? Because we, we yeah. this is, this is the, the, the so called the platform that says that we are one. We are actually, we were one. We were actually one, the same people. Yeah. Uh, Gustav, this is called Chris Panjang. 
yeah. long Chris in our long, world before yeah. the world Sun Dang Chris. These were used by warriors yeah, in droves. These were used against the big boys. We fought Indians in India fighting. Ah, India. okay. We fought the Chinese fighting this because their swords are big. So we call this. And then uh, there, are, there are legends and stories of the greatest that warrior of all time. He fought many. <coughs> this. Yeah, so again, it, 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 again, it's up to you guys. It's your, it's your yeah, yeah, definitely fight to. Definitely fight to. Yeah. I agree. Um, I, I believe uh, I want to, another topic I want to, the topic uh, I want to discuss as well. I know people are talking about the Arnis, Arnis, the Screamer, Sila connection. We'll get with that. We'll get to that too. Another one I want to kind of topic uh, I want to cover is the difference between the Filipino martial art knife techniques and Sila knife techniques. Because I've, I've taken a topic, yes. and I have a hard time doing both, but I, they're very good. Yeah, yeah, I already answered it because we don't base it on. We move out and counter, move out and counter. We move, we always move. We don't block and counter. Okay, now again, okay. Before we go into that, there's a big difference between Silat and Kuntao. Kuntao. Kuntao is a Chinese influence on Silat based on where it comes from. Some is very, very, <coughs> some is very, very Chinese. So, Kuntao guys were block and counter. Okay, now guys, Kuntao is famous in Borneo and Philippines. Actually, Borneo and Philippines very famous. So they, you see, some of the Filipino martial arts call themselves even Kuntao, and they there's a cross. So you can see a lot. Some some Filipino martial arts will use footwork. I saw a lot of footwork that move around. Some block encounter stay there and just counter block counter. Okay. Because that's where the, uh, the, the Kuntao influence there. So, Silat, real Silat, because I give you a good one is uh, Hang Tua, the greatest Silat warrior of all time, says that Pantang Anak Melayu Langkah Setapak Mati. Translation, roughly translated as it is a taboo for a Silat warrior lose a fight or die just because he didn't know or use his footwork. Mm -hmm. oh. It's not footwork. You're, 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 you're like a butterfly. You move around. You don't stay and counter. So that is the difference between Silat and Kunta. And could be because Kunta is closely related to FME. Closely mm -hmm. related. So maybe that I could be wrong, but that's what we can see at the moment. So there's many FMA guys that block encounter on the spot. So some would move around. But again, that, so some, somebody asked me, so bro, we've seen some some FMA guys that move around. Maybe it's flown by Sila. I don't know. It's unfair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> unfair. Yeah. So yeah, that'd be a good topic. It could be a bit heated. Yeah, definitely. Anything you want, definitely. Anything you want to talk about, we're definitely going to bring you. I, I hope it's not going to be a heated technique. You know, heated. Topic. No. Oh, you know, no. because we are. I'm very open about it. I am, and uh, gentlemen, I am willing to say I am sorry if I do hurt your feelings or the guys out there. Your feelings, you know, because I'm just human. I'm. I'm just telling you what I know based on facts. The legend. I will tell no. You the legend. I, no. Yeah. Awesome. no, I don't think there's uh, an apology needed. I don't, I don't think, yeah. Yeah. It's... yeah, for me, is that I always say this, that, you know, everything that I talk or show, you know, it wasn't from me. It's from, from the Almighty that passed down to you. The mm. bad ones are from Guru Amin. I, I, the bad ones are all from Guru Amin, not me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <well. laughs> Uh, so this has been fantastic, and we're definitely gonna do a part two. Uh, yes, definitely. Uh, maybe, maybe January, if that's possible. Yeah. Um, okay. definitely, we gotta definitely have you on again. This has been awesome. Um, right. I want to thank everybody for watching. Um, all the questions and comments that everybody did. Guru Tom, Guru Amir. I know he's hitting back there somewhere. It's just, he's late. I just like I told you, there will be no questions because we covered everything. <laughs> I'm not saying that we are so perfect. No, no, it's normally like that. You know, I would say. Okay. Any questions, guys? I'm ready to go. Before I don't, I don't see anybody having any more questions. Nah, um, nah.
Big thank you to the professor. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. You said it. So is there a recording that anyone, that, that people can go to film, uh, the FMA discussion? Yeah, right, uh, YouTube channel. All right. Yeah. It'll be on the YouTube, YouTube channel. Good times at the time. Thank you so much. We'll talk again. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, professor, before you go, um, what is the uh, link to your uh, school's website? And, it, and is there any upcoming webinars that people should know about? Oh, okay. Uh, well, Huh? We uh, my website is Joe Ma. <laughs> yep, Joe, uh, my my mine is Joe Mas J O, uh, and M A S Mas, mm. and uh, my my school is uh, JackOsman dot com. My name dot com. And and so, any upcoming webinars or anything or yeah yeah, yeah yeah we have a few coming up. Uh, we have a Lawite webinar coming up. Uh, next week, is it? Yes. Yeah. Are you, uh, yes. Be on Thomas yes. next week. Yes. I urge you to take it. To be honest, it's on a Saturday, I think. I said, it's the first time I ever yes. do it. Yes. You guys want to do it. Yes. And then we have uh, we have a Krambit one coming up. We have a Sundam one coming up. And the next thing you know, I'll be in America in March. So, uh, yeah, that will be quite a, you know. Awesome. So I'll let everybody rest for Christmas. <laughs> then, then when we go boom, you know. So there you are. Yeah. So yeah. I want to invite everyone to uh, uh, to come to Joe Mas, which is my Facebook. Then you can always ask for me to be your friend, oh. or you can follow me, and it will take from there. Or yeah, you can go into jackosman.com and to get more about. about awesome. Him. And guys, like I said, I highly recommend learning from Professor. I've taken a lot of his webinars, and I highly recommend you seek him out for seal out stuff. It's awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. So the best, the best thing is from him. The good thing is from Almighty. I'm just a medium. Thank you so much. Thank you much. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. And I'm gonna, we're going gonna, we're gonna to message you in, uh, in about having you off a of part two here soon. So thank you, All Professor. Right. Okay. Thank you. Good night. Right? That was, wow. that was a brilliant one. Yeah. Awesome. I love it, man. Thank you. Thank yeah. You. Yeah. Uh, the okay. webinar alone was just was worth the price of admission. I guess the history of the crown bit and the history. I can't wait to have Monster Part Two so we can talk about some more stuff and yes, yeah, it's fun. Definitely, <laughs> definitely, definitely. Nice call, nice call, man, nice call. All right, okay. All right. So just before we sign up, guys, uh, tonight um, Guru Dean will have his uh, test run with Katie. Is correct, Katie? Yeah, with me and, and Guru Dean, we're doing a test run with yep. Guru Abir from Ikali. Yep, so, and uh, then tomorrow is going to be his, uh, her his or her, sorry, uh, live interview. Yeah, yeah. yeah interview. her interview, but it's uh, I think it's going to be linked to YouTube now this time. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Thank you everybody okay. for watching. Thank you for all the questions. Uh, you guys rock. Um, <laughs> you have a great show, guys. Yeah, thank you very much, everybody. Kira Tom. Thank you very much, everybody. Yeah, see ya, see ya. See you Stay guys safe. tonight for Fest Run. See ya.